design and make some improvements. You can see these are the initial stage of the dialysis machine. You can see these machines are very, very big. And you can see this patient has already been connected to this patient. If you notice this one, that this machine was put or using the bathtub. Why the bathtub? Because bathtub can store almost 150 liters of the, of the water and the dialysis solution, which is equal into one liter, uh, one treatment. And this is one of the reason until now, many nephrologists, they write down their treatment as a dialysis bath because it was developed in the bathtub. In 1950, B. Brown initiated the activities in the dialysis and developed the first artificial kidney in Germany. You can see this kind of a dialyzer, which you never saw. But this is really a dialyzer, which we call a coil dialyzer. Then in 1956, Travinol introduced the first coil dialysis machine, and it was later acquired by the Baxter, and they called Baxter Travinol. Today now, the Baxter already acquired Gamro, so in many parts of the world, they call Baxter Gamro. Here you can see different machines. This is one of the machines is using the coil dialyzer. And here on the other side, you can see a hemodialyzer. So you can see the big difference between the coil dialyzer versus the hemodialyzer. According to one of our article, Dr. Drak Bilog, who was a nephrologist, built a prototype dialysis machine. And that was the start. And many biomedical equipment companies started to do research and development, and they developed different kinds of a dialysis machine. Here you can see different machines. Here you can see this is the, this is just not a water actually. Yeah? This is the dialysis solution. And this is the dialyzer without the coupling. And the diffusion is take place here. On the other side, this is a very famous machine also made by Travenon. And this machine was used, including in the Philippines and any, many parts of the world until 2005. If you really wanted to be interested to see this machine, I remember this machine is still in the USD in Manila and also one machine in Perpetual Soccer Hospital in Cebu, but it's not working anymore. They just keep it for the fellows or for the nurses just to give them the dialysis machine history, how it was work. In 1967, the first fully integrated dialysis machine was developed by Baxter Travinol, and it, it was used by over 3,500 hospitals worldwide. The machine required dialysis bath mixed each time, and the treatment time was six hours. In 1968, B. Brown developed the first machine with the air detector, height adjustable, heparin pump, and arterial and venous tubing on and off clamp. And this is really a big development in the, for the dialysis patient. Because in the past, we really don't know whether we are doing a proper dialysis or not, like air detector. So many times the air will enter into the patient's bloodstream and there is a possibility that the patients die. And that was the first time also the heparin pump was introduced. So the, the life of the dialyzer or the which extended. This is one of the machine also. Here you can see the patient has been connected. This we call a cabinet time dialysis machine. Here this is the knob and whenever there is a problem, the technician or the nurse or the engineer, they just press this knob, open this one and change the parts. In 1971-72, the machine was developed further. You can see now the shape of the machine has been totally changed. And here